Hello everyone and welcome to Daily Game Review number 17. Today we have Derpy's Puzzles 11Q versus Uberman 7Q. And let's see how the game goes. I think uh, this might be Derpy's second game, I don't know, I've been going through so many games now I'm starting to lose track of all the names. But I recall Derpy's names being seen so I may have done one of his games already so he's gotten a second game review. Uh, so remember guys, if you want to submit your games for a chance to get your games reviewed, please see the link in the description below. And who knows, maybe you can get one of your games reviewed, maybe you can get two of them reviewed, so uh, let's see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so we play this way, and black plays a uh, Shamari star point, and white has the d3 stone. And uh, white decides to play the left side. I don't recommend an extension here due to the fact that once black comes in, you can see that uh, c10 kind of looks cut off. So uh, I think it's fine just to play a low move here. And uh, seal off her corner and be strong. It looks a little bit good for black since black uh uh, I say a little bit good for back. It looks like uh, Black's uh, getting to the first moves on the board. However, it should still be completely fine for White because uh, the positions technically are still even, and if White has Comey, then it's perfectly fine. However, since it is 11Q versus 7Q, I doubt there is Comey. Uh, actually, let's check that real quick. Game info, rules, and there is Comey, so this is perfectly fine. Uh, so I think it's completely fine to play this way. However, if you play this way, when if black invades soon, this stone, C10 stone, can get cut off. However, it looks like black decided to play here. White uh, jumped into space jump. Interesting Joseki choice. Black played here and then here. Uh, this is an interesting variation. Uh, there's several things to think about here. I won't get into it now because it's a little advanced for this level. Uh, however, black looks like he studied his Joseki. Either that or he just got lucky and played an interesting uh, a decent sequence. Um, this is a common sequence in a one space pincer Joseki and I think it actually works good in this shape here too because black got a nice extension and a little bit of influence. However he does have an open skirt on the bottom so we will have to keep track of that but uh, let's see how it goes. White plays here. I don't recommend this move because black's already settled um, and black has an open skirt so if you're going to play somewhere I'd play here to put the most pressure but black can easily jump and uh, black might even consider ignoring because there's not really points so uh, even if white comes in and black just surrounds and white tries to come out with something I'm not sure where uh, black should still be okay I think uh, maybe it's not as sente as it, uh, white wants it to be uh, that's why I really like the support move however um this kind of like encourages black to approach here and I think white doesn't want black to approach there so I think white should go ahead and fix here, black uh, extends here, and then white can get to the first move on the top. And I think this is perfectly fine for white. However playing here it will encourage black to go in this area and it also doesn't put that much pressure on this group so it actually is a really slow move. So now black actually defends here, a really really slow move, uh, playing an empty triangle to seal his points locally but his points are not that big, it's much bigger to play in this corner and now white has a chance to fix his position. However instead white plays here and this is not an approach, uh, white's a 7Q, I'm not sure why he's doing this. This is not a normal approach, you can easily play this way and you can see black has a bigger corner than white has a side and even if white does this, black extends here, white, black got uh, much more so you can see uh, this this is obviously good for black. So uh, unfortunately black plays here. White, I don't know why you didn't just approach here. And since the I, I think the top side is bigger than the right side, I would have approached here or just played a wedge here. Pro, both are perfectly fine. Uh, however, I think approaching from the right side is a little bit wrong direction and you didn't even approach. So definitely a little bit slow move here. So uh, kind of three moves in a row that uh, are kind of questionable this this game so far. Uh, three moves that don't really understand and are really slow. So make sure you guys get to the make sure you guys uh, yeah you get to those big moves and uh, get to the important places uh, more quickly. Don't worry about playing these little slow moves. All right, so white played here. Black does extend the corner, and this is still good for black because uh, if you know this shape, this shape has a little bit of a weakness where if you go here and white tries to connect back, you can actually cut off this white stone. So with the large knight's move uh, slide like this and black has a diagonal here, there is this weakness there. Uh, however, that's stuff for later. So it's kind of in-game, um, and now black goes here. Since white uh, pushed here, maybe black wants to respond here to keep his shape, and this is a nice one-point jump. Uh, this is locally probably the good shape, but since he's already alive here, I don't really see this being important unless he cares about the center. But if he cares about the center, then I think he could easily just uh, uh, come in here or something, or maybe just a shoulder hit to build his own position. I don't know. Uh, you also have the big, big move in the bottom left, so uh, this is this is the local move. This is the local response. If you want to respond locally, this is the move. Uh, however, I'm not sure if you need to respond locally or globally. I think both are fine. However, this move is not so good because white still gets the Atari and gets some influence. Your shape here is kind of thin because it's a two-space jump and there's a lot of Aji in here. So I don't 
really like this move so much. Uh, white, however, does get you to defend his right side. Now black should really go in the bottom left corner, which he does, very nice. And white takes the base. Uh, white should rob the base like this, not like this, because this is a second line move, and we all know second line is not very valuable. So black instead, uh, now black... Um, uh, decides to try and cut white off. I think this is a little bit of a mistake. Just go ahead and make a two space extension here. White makes a two space extension. Then you can just jump and uh, keep the pressure on white. And then you can do some leaning stuff here, get some shape, and be perfectly fine. However, you will lose Sinta if you do this. So maybe white goes here, or white invades the top somewhere. somewhere. Uh, but uh, this move. Mm, white can cut here a little bit and now white can actually extend here and now you can see this shape is not cuttable uh, black it looks very weak and white was able to save himself while attacking black so it's very good this move is unnecessary because the cut does not work so if white uh, gets cut like this black goes here white goes here black goes here black goes here even if you Atari like this the cut does not work because it's actually three liberties two liberties white can actually even ignore this and still be completely fine uh, even if black gets a move here there's this move and then two eyes so white is completely fine on the inside uh, not whoops jump too far ahead there uh, I'm not sure why white defended here. However, black does get the nice extension. Very good by black. White extends, and now black plays this move. This move is kind of pointless. I don't really understand this move. Maybe he's trying to build some influence, but the shape's a little bit weak for influence because uh, white can just do something along these lines. There's a cut here. There's a nobi here. Uh, and then just the Tari and then jump out. So there's not really an influence here because all these forcing moves, the shape is very thin. So this move actually doesn't really do anything and it doesn't even support this because it's cuttable as you just saw. So it doesn't support the weak group, it doesn't build a very good influence, so this move is a little bit slow and a little bit wasteful. Now, um, white does do this however and black chooses to block this way. So black wants the outside and black gets a forcing move here. However, this forcing move is not Sente because if I were white, I would not care. I would just go here. Even if black tries to cut you like so, you can see the inside shape is not that good. So black has to fix and then white gets the Atari and jumps out like this. And you can see white or black is completely cut off and white's alive on the inside. So I would not care about it too much. Uh, however, white does care about it and plays another empty triangle. Uh, no, black played the first empty triangle, sorry. So white plays his empty triangle, so now both players have played an empty triangle this game. Uh, so yeah, try and get rid of those guys. These kind of, these moves aren't very good. Uh, you almost, uh, there's rare cases where they are, but uh, most of the time they're just bad liberties, bad shapes. Uh, but anyway, black does extend here, and remember this nice move is cuttable. I'm not sure what black's doing. Why is black surrounding white here? Why are you surrounding uh, white here, black? I don't understand what you're trying to get. You're not getting any influence. Maybe you're trying to attack these, but if you're going to attack these, why not just attack from here and play a nice move and attack directly? So, what is this move doing? It's not defending because it's a nice move and it's cuttable. Uh, you have cutting points in the center, so it's not getting a moyo. So, I don't know what you're doing here, black. White plays a really slow move here. No one caring about the left two stones of the of whites on the left side of the board because remember this is a box four this is one eye so if white gets surrounded with anything you can see that white is still not completely alive well that that that's completely wrong sorry about that uh like so and you can see black is actually developing an influence while white is trying to live uh you can actually run this letter can't you wow that's that's really bad for white so you can see that the, this would be quite powerful for black to play right now all right, so we get back to ba Black responding to all these slow moves, the slow moves, slow moves, slow moves, and let's see who Tanuki's first. Slow, 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 slow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why not Black here? Not sure why. Maybe you're worried about the cuts, but the cuts are not so important. Actually, Why can't even cut. He doesn't have the liberties to cut. So what are you worried about, Black? You're over worried, and now you get into a broken shape. This is all such a bad shape because White just cut straight through the Blackstones. Uh, I would rather just... Uh, if just defend this, even if white cuts through here, now just ignore the crap out of it. I mean, who cares about this area anymore? You just got cut apart. You're not dying on either side. You have no influence not anymore, so there's no point in playing here anymore. These three stones are not important. You, oops, sorry. Uh, you can still play over here and still be okay, and even if you white captures three stones, who cares? It's six points. There's bigger moves to play. So don't worry about three stones here, black uh, and white. Uh, and black both players playing super super small moves in this area I think they've played so many moves in this area and you could have to so many times So uh, yeah guys get to the bigger moves much more quickly. These moves are not important and they're not very big um, All right, so white now finally getting to the left side. We finally see someone actually playing a good move and uh, This is a knight's move. Is it good to run with a knight's move? I'm not quite sure. I think this might be cuttable and Let's see do 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 do
This ladder is good for black, and you can see white doesn't really have a move. Uh, so black is kind of screwed. Or, I mean, white is kind of screwed, sorry. White is really, really in a bad position here. Uh, so black can easily cut that knight's move. Rem uh, remember, guys, do not run with a knight's move. It is not good. It's cuttable. Uh, and your opponent can usually cut them or take advantage of them in some way. And here, white, black can easily cut just directly. So uh, make sure you watch that, guys. Uh, black, it is not the time to ignore. I think the cut's big. And even if uh, the cut wasn't big, are you alive on the inside? I don't really like your shape, so I think it's worth it to actually uh, at least surround white with something like this and to get some shape on the outside first before tanukiing. However, black does tanuki and decide to play the big move. Since you are already strong in this area, you want to play fourth line. Remember, the fourth line is for developing. Third line is for security. You are alive on both sides, so you want to develop. Uh, but third line's really flat, easy to reduce with shoulder hits and whatnot. Uh, but white decides to invade. Evasion may be a little bit overplayed since black is so thick here. Black could actually think to surround you like this. And you can see the white stone is kind of crying on the inside. However, black tries to take the base. Remember, uh, you want to take the base first, but this is not a base. You, uh, base is efficient eye space. So, uh, white doesn't have a base, so you go to step two, which is surround. You want to surround with a move like so, like so or like so, uh, and then maybe something like this would also be possible, but that's if you want to attack this side. You have to read, figure out which one you want to do, but this is not the way to play. This is reducing eye space, which is step three. Uh, now white can easily just jump out like so, and instead white plays here, which is, uh, I guess that's fine. That's fine, get a forcing move first, and then jump out, uh, right, right, you not jumping out. What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Surround and jump out. The inside moves are not the moves to play. So uh, gotta work on attack and defense here a little bit. Uh, both players playing locally. Why in the world is white playing here? White's trying to reduce black's points. This is not an eye. This is not threatening an eye. This is not threaten anything. Black can easily surround white, and black responds. Guys, gotta stop playing these small moves. Don't res don't follow your opponent. So I think the biggest issue here is both players are not playing anything important for like 20 moves in a row now. Uh, white has played uh, E9, and black has played J17. Those are the only moves in consider of any value, and both of them could have been a little bit better. So remember, guys, you really, really, really want want to get to these big moves much more quickly. Uh, so just ask yourself at the start of each turn, is my group weak? If it is, you need to uh, make a base uh, or run away or develop eye space or play the vital point. These are the four steps in that order to defend yourself and to attack. It's the exact opposite in the same order. You want to take the base, you want to surround, you want to reduce eye space, and then you want to play the vital point. These small moves are humongous mistakes because your opponent can easily play something like here, and you can see the three or the the four or five white stones are crying, and black has complete control of this area now. So this is a huge upset for white especially if you consider that white could have played here. So you can see that uh, the difference in getting to the important moves first is huge. So make sure you guys pay attention to that. What I recommend to fix this is at the end of every game, make sure you go over it. Write down those same questions that I just said in the video. Re uh, rewind the video if you have to. I said rewind because that's not a thing anymore. Uh, but uh, get, go back in the video if you have to and try and write down those questions and then apply them and or see if you can apply them in your games and see if you did apply them in your games when you review your games go through each of your moves and on every single move see if you ask yourself the questions and uh these are the questions you ask is my uh groups we are my groups weak is my opponent groups weak where's the big move and uh, these are three questions to go through, and then the four questions before were from attack and defense. If you're weak, defend. If your opponent's weak, attack. And use those steps to attack. Go through your games, go through the questions, write down the questions if you have to. Um, just make sure you go through the questions, and then compare the questions to each and every single one of your moves, and seeing if you could have made them any better. I think that will really help you guys play more effective moves, rather than playing all these small moves, because I think you guys have done this for like 20 moves in a row now. Uh, however, Black now responds here and finally gets a surround and a split. Very nice by Black. And now Black is now cutting White apart and finally getting an attack. But uh, where are you going, Black? Uh, normally you want to push White towards the thickness like so and uh, defend your area and keep White weak. You could also actually take the Vita Point here and that's actually a little bit annoying. And uh, So White can't do that. White can't do that. White has to go here. Then uh, Black can get a surround here maybe. Uh, or, yeah, surround here and then do like so. Get the top side area for free 
and then come over here for a leaning attack possibly anyway these are different attack strategies you can utilize uh so you're going for this way you're going to push white this way you're going to gain some thickness here are you going to invade i don't really see an invasion so i'm not sure what your thickness is going for uh instead white tries cutting black off you're trying to attack with the weak group no this does not work it does not work that way and black defend this way white doesn't really have a move uh, however, you're trying to attack with a weak group. You cannot do that. But if your opponent to nukies, that's I guess that works. Uh, and you, <laughs> uh, this is kind of big, guys. Uh, sorry, this move. Connecting both groups is kind of huge. And now black's cut off. And this this is a complete reversal situation. Black was attacking white. Now white's attacking black. How does this even happen? Uh, neither player playing the important move. This is a humongous move, and neither player is getting to it. And finally, white gets to it, connects his two weak groups, and now white is uh, very nearly alive. Black is weak, and now black needs to go and just take his profit somewhere and go get some points, because I don't really see any attack for black anymore, and uh, four stones he can easily sacrifice, so I don't think you need to waste an entire move on this. Maybe do something on the right side or build some center in Sente by reducing the right side. But yeah, probably do want to do something on the right side now. Uh, black instead defends this corner. Uh, remember that this shape, don't forget this shape, uh, this is the way to defend this area now because even if white comes out, this is terrible for white, so white won't do that. White will just sacrifice. Uh, and this is the way you still defend your corner and it's more valuable. However, if white does this, then you can see that uh, white got a few more points and you didn't get as many as you should. All right, now black finally reducing. If you're going to, uh, or finally building, uh, if you want to develop, then uh, maybe you can consider something uh, along these lines first and uh, maybe jump out. And that way it develops the center a little bit, but this is the center and probably you want to do uh, corner and side before center, so this is probably the big move. Uh, however, this move is a little bit slow, uh, but not as slow as it could have been, so that's perfectly fine. Uh, now developing the center, white reducing the center, black building the center, white now cutting off these stones. Probably want to save these stones now. Uh, all right, very good, very nice. Uh, very easy shape, white overplaying here, and white's probably going to die, which he should if white uh, black plays this way. Uh, well, not die, but... Uh, Hmm, is there a better way to play? Actually, I think you can reduce over here and get a leaning attack off quite possibly. Uh, definitely want to read here. Definitely want to read here. All right, so black came up with this move. Uh, maybe this is okay, but white cuts it off, so maybe it's not okay. So I don't like this result, so that means black probably could have played better if he read a little bit more. Uh, okay, and now uh, we see black cutting off white. Oh, very nice, but if this dies, it doesn't work, and I think it dies. Uh, nope, not the right move. You want to go here. Even if black cuts, you have a throw in to suit do 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 and white or black is dead. So a little bit bad Atari, but black connects and white gets surround. However, white doesn't surround here, and this is the move, and I think this actually kills black. Uh, so a little bit off here, and now black gets to extend here. White's forced to give black good shape, and white is now has to connect. However, white is still alive. Black gets a very nice Tsuji here, or a very nice, uh, yeah, very nice Tsuji here, and that's not the way to play. You want to push from this way, this way, this way, bad shape. Bad shape all around. Uh, all right, so maybe instead of this, you could have just honeyed here from the start. Uh, always try and do the last move first. That way you don't get all these unnecessary moves. Even if white goes here, you can Atari, Atari, Atari. and uh, Very nice, but there's a cut here. So probably it's a nice Tsuji, nice Tsuji, but maybe you want to just honey here directly. Last move first. Last move first. Keep an eye on the Tsuji. Do the last move first. All right, so anyway, black goes here and then connects back and white defends. And now black comes here. Uh, I'm not sure about this because there was a potential cut here, right? Uh, and this would have been nice, but I'm worried about Black's liberties, but uh, worth considering. Uh, but Black plays here, White definitely fixes now, and Black is forced to connect back. Uh, this is not the way to connect back, you just want a Nobi, because uh, remember these shapes have possible wedges, and maybe cuts later. It doesn't look like the cut works now, however White will get this free Atari, which is always nice. Um, okay, it looks like you're fine, looks like you're fine, just barely. Uh, white does this, black connects, white goes here and pushes in. Honestly, this wasn't that big, maybe. Yeah, white, uh, white, uh, black could give up two stones. White isn't getting any points. This is uh, kind of really small. This is Dame. Uh, both sides are alive and connected. I don't see any reason to connect here. Uh, but now black plays here. This is not the biggest end game move, right? I think uh, the biggest end game move is probably going to be like right here or something. Looks about right. So, gotta work in the end game a little bit too, but I think the middle game questions are far more important. So, now we see uh, both players playing a little bit of end game uh, to, their best, to the best of their ability. Um, black missing a chance to cut off white here. 
Yep, that definitely works. Uh, so, got to watch your opponent's weaknesses a little bit more, guys. Uh, very nice, very nice. And you would be able to connect all of your stuff if you play this Atari first and then go here. Uh, however, white, uh, black plays here and white doesn't cut for some unknown reason. And black is still able to save everything, which she doesn't. He maybe chooses to do so for later. That's perfectly fine. This monkey jump's quite huge. And white tries to defend and doesn't really have any points because black can just go here. So I uh, don't really see the point of defense. And actually, that's white's eyes, but white's connected. So white's fine. White's fine. Uh, finally getting the big move. Perfectly good. Uh, and now white is forced to defend. Now black can go play some other big moves. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, but you're going to cut, so you lose Sente, so that's not okay. Losing Sente is not okay. Uh, actually, since you're connected, what about uh, getting this Hane here? This is still quite big. Um, now, never mind. I completely lied. This is completely bad because it doesn't work anymore. So ignore that, guys. My apologies. I didn't see the liberties there. But okay, so that doesn't work anymore. Uh, White did defend the monkey jump over there. Black pushes here. No, okay, okay, okay. And we play some. Ba this doesn't work. Uh, we play some basic uh, end game. So remember, you don't read the cut. If the cut doesn't work anymore, then why defend? Uh, da -da -da -da. Now what? Yep, so the cut doesn't work. Uh, over defense there. Didn't really need to defend. Lost Sente. You definitely don't want to lose Sente and Yosei, guys. Sente is important in Yosei. Uh, so now we see all this happening, all this happening. Uh, White played very nice end game here. Uh huh, uh huh. And. Alright, and uh, let's see what the result of this game is. Sorry for the background noise. I have family. They are loud. They are kids. They are loud. I apologize. All right, but here we go. Black won by resignation, so probably he had a big lead. So let's see the score estimator, 14 and a half points. So white, uh, again, resigned at the end. Please don't do that, guys. It's a little bit rude to resign at the count. Uh, it is kind of, uh, quite rude, so please do not do that. Uh, it goes a common, uh, is a kind of based on courtesies, and a common courtesy is to greet your opponent, thank your opponent for the game, and uh, I'll resign if you uh, have lost. But if you play it to the count, then go ahead and count. Don't worry about resigning. I mean, it's a little, a little bit rude. It uh, doesn't really change the result of the game. doesn't really change the strategy. But it's kind of a, a little rude to do. So please do not do that, guys. Uh, anyway, so for both players, uh, please write down the questions that I mentioned in this video and review your games and see if you're applying those questions to each and every single move. I think it works at each and every single move uh, until you get to the end game and then you have to do math. Math is math is fun, I guess. Uh, but anyway, the end game is something else entirely. Uh, it has its own guidelines. But basically, the end game, you want to keep Sente as much as possible. Uh, but for the opening and middle game, those questions should solve most of your problems. Uh, just got to practice uh, implementing them into your games. And you do that by reviewing your games and ask yourself if you at, uh, applied the questions at each and every single turn. So yeah, uh, I recommend that to these two players. Go over the questions and see if uh, that helps your games. Hopefully it will. Hopefully you guys uh, will learn from this, practice this, and apply it. And I, hopefully you will get better. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed this review. And uh, thank you guys for whoever submitted it in. And uh, for you guys, if you want to, a chance to get your game reviewed in the Daily Game Review Series, please check the link in the description below and uh, submit the game to have a chance to get it reviewed in the Daily Game Review Series. All right, look forward to reviewing the next game, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Until then, bye-bye.